that leads into our next question because Christian, typically person who would decide those is called a doctor. Uh, so the uh, next the next question is what makes a good doctor? What makes a good doctor? What hold on, good... hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm cutting to you. Ask the question. I normally do this. So next question, what makes a good doctor? Now, I've had plenty of doctors. I have my own health issues. Um, and all most of my doctors in my life have been phenomenal, whether it's physical, mental, whatever. But I'm just going to go with physical here. Go on on the weight analogy. Um, the past few times I went to the doctors, this is in New York City. Um, they're great doctors. I'm not going to get me wrong. They take very good care of me. However, they have asked permission to weigh me. Ask permission. They, they ask permission. Is it okay if we take your weight? See. And to me. See, I find that problematic. Very problematic. So problematic. If, if, I'm, doing a, if I'm doing a physical and I'm like, tell the doctor, like, all right, you can check everything out, but my left elbow is off limits. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. You, I'm like, it's my job so that's, as a doctor to examine everything that I'm supposed to examine. I'm not asking for permission. This is my job. I'm failing you. Yeah. If I don't do all of that. If your doctor offends you, that means you're doing something wrong. <laughs> like a doctor, my I I want my doctor to offend me, and sometimes I'm sometimes I kind of call my doctor on a bullshit. So for example, I got Crohn's, right? Mm -hmm. And Crohn's is an intestinal disease where I can't eat certain things because it'll, my, my intestines can't digest them properly. So like nuts, uh, skin of fruit, seeds, like anything with high fiber, granola. So as long as I don't eat those things, I'm pretty much in remission. So I ask my doctor all the time, what can I eat, right? What should I be eating? What should I not eat? Right. And she tells me all the time. Well, um, as long as you're not having symptoms, you can eat whatever you want. So then I got to go, okay, what will give me symptoms? Because it's like Crohn's is a tough disease because it's chronic and there's no really cure or really tr – like there's treatments and it's gotten better. But there's no like set treatment because it's, it's tough. It's, a, it's an underfunded disease to study because it's not really deadly. So like she's doing the best she can because she doesn't really have a direct answer. So I'm like, okay, I'll draw the conclusion for you. Don't eat these lists of things, and you'll be good. And guess what? I haven't eaten those lists of things, and I've been good. But she's a phenomenal Are doctor. there things, or is it depending on the person? It, it's, it's, I think it's also probably depending on the person. Probably. Because I, I just see the Crohn's commercials. You mm -hmm. probably know the— Remicade. Remicade. Those are—or uh, no, it's, it's, it's the injection. I forget which one. It might be Remicade. It might be something else. Yeah. Um, but the sign of a good doctor— And Crohn's is what? Kidneys? Intestines. Oh, yeah. okay. So the sign of a good doctor is one who is authoritative and tells you what to do. Like I had, um, I went and saw. Very, and, and good at breaking things down. Yeah. A doctor. A doctor shouldn't ask permission. A doctor, like, okay, I'm not going to go as far as and say that doctor needs like, sales skills, but not in the sense of selling the idea to you, but in the sense of taking sometimes complex ideas. Yeah. And breaking it down for the everyday person who might not be in the know because obviously they didn't spend, you know, 10 years in school after, you know, 10 to 15 years in school learning all the things that they knew medically. Right. And it's being it's, able to break things down into something simple, understandable and digestible, especially with weight, too, mm -hmm. because, like, again, me, for example, I went to the doctor and they asked me to take my weight and i went yet yeah, i went yes please take my weight Absolutely. because i need to know what my weight is because weight is a direct factor towards health in a lot of instances so they take my weight and she goes oh wow you've lost like 10 pounds in the past year or so and i go well that's good to know good. what if, now what if i said no you can't weigh me <laughs> you know, now, now I, now I need to come back and go. Okay, I need to make a life adjustment. And a good doctor would be like, "Okay, you need a life adjustment." When I was in high school, I was very underweight. They put me on protein shakes, right, to get my weight up because that's important towards health. Nowadays, I don't know how it is in other parts of the country, but in New York, if you're asking permission to take someone's weight and they say no, why did you go to the doctor? It's like you know what it's like. Trying to avoid bad news. <laughs> exactly. It's like, you know what? Um, I mean, I'm not really trying to hear that right now. Just tell me the positive things. Right. So just tell me the positive things. Like, if we, if you're going to have to tell me some bad stuff if, we, if I get on the scale right now. <laughs> right. Right. Like, they, they had to do an examination and they had to go, 
Like, is it okay if you, like, pull your pants down so we can examine you? I go, no. Well, how the fuck are you going to examine me, doctor? Bro, like, we guys, we got the little, we got the zipper. We could, <laughs> right? It's just like, should I take pictures and you can look at them? Like, <laughs> you know, we, we got the zipper thing. It's like, dude, you're a dermatologist. I'm here for, like, a skin. I, you got to check my skin. That's a question my we got to ask. My ass is part of my skin. Like, check for moles that might be cancerous. Mine's my family. Like, don't ask me permission to check my fucking skin to do your fucking job. It's like, God damn, it's so, it's like, it's ridiculous. You're a bad doctor. Maybe it's, <laughs> maybe it's rhetorical. It's like, but the thing, thing is, when you ask a question like that and the person takes it seriously and then they give you the wrong answer, it just gets real awkward. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, you know, can we uh, take, can we take a look at this thing? Like most people are going to go, oh yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. But it was like, then the doctor's sitting there like, um, well, you know, it's gonna get real awkward real quick. Yeah. Don't don't ask rhetorical questions. Like ask, say next, we're going to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I need I need you to walk five paces. You know, bend down. I'm gonna look in your asshole a little bit. Give me give you like give the uh what's like the thing like like our dads had to do it like you know they, they put the thing up the ass to make sure it's like pro- prostate exam. Prostate exam. Right. I don't I didn't know what the tool was. I, I thought you that's what you would ask. It's you. usually I think it's usually just a doctor's like the glove. Yeah. And it makes it. Sounds <laughs> and like they, they just kind of do a, maybe a knuckle. I don't know. I've never had a prostate exam. Actually, that's I might have had a prostate exam. I've definitely had a, definitely had a how, how would you not remember if you had a no, prostate no, exam? No, I, I don't know if it was for my prostate exactly. I've had I've had a few doctors' fingers up my ass for examination. Oh, don't get me wrong, got you, got but you, I don't know if you. it was for the prostate. Gotcha. Um, but you know, every man needs that, right? If I, a doctor should just come in, be like, you know, you're going there for a, a, you're going there for that thing. The doctor shouldn't ask you for permission to do the thing you came there to do. You're a bad right, doctor. Right, right. You're a bad dad doctor. Like, honestly, dude, if I'm going to the doctor's office, I want a doctor to tell me what to do. I am your bitch. I am a bitch here. I know nothing about this. You direct me. You tell me what to do. Oh, I gotta. I, I, I want to do another question. This is a funny one. I did not even see this. <sighs> Drives uh, me crazy. This is this is. It's polarizing. 